Hi guys, good day, it's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today is all about the square, finding all sides and all angles. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Alright, so we have given square A, B, C, D, and we have a midpoint E. And given angle B, A, E is equals to 45 degrees, so angle B, A, E, so A there class is the middle part. So this one, angle here. This angle here, angle B, A, E, is equals to 45 degrees. And we have given line, line A, D is equals to 6, so this one. And we are told to find all sides and all angles. So, which one do you prepare, class? All sides or all angles? Let's start with um, all angles. Let's start with all angles, alright? So, all angles... Uh, we know that this is 45 degrees and do not forget that in a square one of the properties that it says that the diagonals are perpendicular so therefore this angle here is equals to 90 degrees right so this angle here is equals to 90 degrees so therefore what would be this angle so that we can get do not forget do not forget class that okay let me just write this angle a E B okay angle A E B is equals to A E B is equals to 90 degrees. Now to get this angle B, we can actually put this one as 45 because this triangle here is an isosceles triangle. But let's do not, let's talk about the triangles class. Do not forget that the sum okay any triangles, any kinds of triangles, if it's equilateral, right triangle. Uh, isosceles triangle or any kinds of triangle the sum of interior angles this one the sum of interior angles their sum must equals to 180 degrees okay if you add those angles it should be 180 degrees but with regards to our angle since we have a 90 degrees here angle a e b this midpoint here is 90 degrees therefore this angle here is a right triangle okay this triangle here is a right triangle because there's one angle measures 90 degrees. So if you put this one as A, E, B, okay, A, E, B, A, E, B, A, E, B, this is 90 degrees and this is 45 degrees. So what would be this angle B here? This one. So if we add that one, 45, 90, so 90 plus 45, this will be uh, 5. 13 135 if and we subtract that to 180 because we all know that the sum of these angles is equals to 180 degrees so 180 minus 135 so carry um uh, borrow one so this is 10 10 minus 5 is 5 7 minus 3 is 4 45 degrees so this is 45 degrees all right so we have angle angle okay a b e a b e is equals to 45 degrees so let me just write this in red so that we will not be confused so this is 90 and this is 45 degrees all right so now next is this angle here or we can write this angle 90 90 vertical angles do not forget class vertical angles are congruent sir wh when do we know that those are vertical angles if we form an intersecting line two line intersect each other okay this angle here and this angle here are what we call vertical angles and this angle here and this angle here is vertical are vertical angles and they are congruent okay what would be the measure for this one is the same with this one what would be the measure of this angle is the same with this angle okay Right, so those are vertical angles. So we can write actually this angle here, this angle DEC is 90 degrees. So this angle here, okay, this is 90, and we all know we all know that those are 90 degrees because perpen these diagonals are perpendicular to each other. They form 90 degrees right angle. So vertical angles, this is 90 degrees, therefore angle DEC is equals to 90 degrees. So this is 90 degrees. How about this one, sir? Can we make this into 45? Yes. One of the properties of a square, it says that diagonals bisect 
vertices. Therefore, they cut this angle into half. So, this is 45 degrees. So, angle A. Okay. Uh, I'm sorry. Angle DAE. Okay. DAE. Actually, class, you can write this angle DAC. That's the same with DAE. DAC is the same measure with DAE. The same angle. Okay. Angle DAE is 45 degrees. Oh. And we all know that this is 90 because the diagonals are perpendicular to each other. They form a 90 degrees angle. So this is 90, 90 degrees. This is 45 degrees. All right, so angle AED, angle AED is 90 degrees. Alright, so this angle must be 45 degrees because we already add a while ago, 90 plus 45 is 135. We subtract that to 180 and we get 45. So this is 45 degrees. Alright, so 45 degrees angle ADE. ADE is 45 degrees. Alright, so we have... And uh, this one is also 45 diagonals bisect vertices. Bisect this angle D into half. This is 45 degrees. So this is 45 degrees. This is angle uh, CDE or EDC. That's the same class. EDC or CDE. That's actually the same. This is right CDE. CDE is 45 degrees. And this is 90, 45. 90 plus 45 is 135. We're locking 45 to get 180. Okay? Or you can have alternate interior angles. 45, 45. So this is 45 degrees. Just always remember, class, in a square, it's always 45, 45. Okay? So this is angle D, C, E. Angle D, C, E is 45 degrees. We're almost done, class. So this angle is also 45 degrees. So this is 45 degrees. Angle BCE or BCA. That's the same. So let's just write angle BCE. BCE is 45 degrees. And this angle is 90. Because they form a perpendicular. But diagonals are perpendicular. They form 90 degrees right angle. So CEB. Angle C E B is 90 degrees. Last one, this one is angle C B E is 45 degrees. Angle C B E is 45 degrees. Alright, so that's it class. That's it for the angles. If you have some questions, please. If you have some questions, do not forget to leave a comment. We will answer that one. Now, so we're done with the angles. Let's go to the sides. So let me just erase these angles so, so that we will not be confused. So you pause the video class. You check the angles. So these are the angles of a square. We find it a while ago with regards to the angles of the square. So that's it. So let me just erase this one. Let me just erase the angles class because we will be answering all sides so that we will not be confused with regards to the figure. Alright, so let me just erase this one. Let's now deal with the sides. Alright, let me erase this one. So just focus with the... Um, we will focus on the sides now, class. So let me just erase this one. You paused the video a while ago with regards to the angles. Alright, let's start with the sides. So, given AD is 6, therefore... We already know that the properties of a square, all false, four sides are congruent. So this is also 6. Alright, so AB. Okay, let me just write it in red. A, this is 6. This is 6. This is 6. So therefore, AB. Side AB is 6. BC is also 6. Side BC is 6. CD or DC. That's the same class. DC or CD. So CD is 6. Alright, so we're done with the sides on the out outside part. Let's go now in the diagonals. So if this is 6, this is 6. 6 and 6. So how can we find this one? BD. So this is 
So to find BD, let's draw another triangle. So if we draw a triangle, this is this is a right triangle. If we draw, if we cut this one, okay, the square class. If we cut this into half, we cut this one into half. This is A. Look at my illustration class A. We cut this one into half. So this is D. A. Okay, we cut this triangle into half. A B D. Okay. So A B D, we cut this one into half. A B D. This this square A B C D. I cut this one into half so that I can find this this side, the side D B. So to find this side, we have given A B is six and A D is six. And we already know that this angle A here is a right triangle. Oh uh, no, sorry, sorry, a right angle. This is a right triangle class because there's one angle measures 90 degrees. And we all know we know that this angle A is equals to 90 degrees, so therefore we can use the Pythagorean theorem. Do not forget, class, we can always use the Pythagorean theorem or the Pythagorean theorem if our triangle is a right triangle, if one angle measures 90 degrees. So the formula that would be C squared is equals to A squared plus B squared. So C class is always the hypotenuse, the longest side, this one, DB. So DB is the hypotenuse of this given right triangle. We cut this square into half, ABD. So this angle here is 90 degrees. All right, this one. So we can use Pythagorean theorem. C is the hypotenuse, the longest side, DB. So this is C, C squared equals our A is 6. Any of this class is our A. This will be our A. This will be our A, or this will be our B, or this will be our A, this will be our B. That's the same answer. So our A is 6, so 6 squared plus 6, 6 squared. C squared is equals to 6 times 6 is 36, plus 6 times 6 is 36. So this will be C squared is equals to 36 plus 36, that's 72. To get the value of C, extract square root both sides. So C is equals to square root of 72 class. We can simplify that one by, uh, you find two numbers. One number is a perfect square. The other is not. So we can simplify this one by 36 times 2. Because 36 times 2 is 72. 36 is a perfect square. 2 is not. So one number is a perfect square. The other is not. If you multiply those two numbers, you will get 72. So C equals 36, the square root of 36 is 6, and the square root of 2 is none, so copy square root of 2. So this will be our answer. 6 square root of 2, if you use the calculator, 6 square root of 2, that's approximately 8 points. So C is equals to approximately 8.49. Okay, 8.49. Alright, so this will be our C. So it depends on your teacher. If the teacher will tell you that you can use this radical sign, this radicals, that would be okay. If the teacher will ask you, you can use uh, the decimal. So you can just have square root of 72. Okay, square root of 72 is, let me just write this, is approximately same, 8.49. Alright, so therefore, pause the video class. Uh, let me just write it here. C is square root of, uh, 6 square root of 2 or 8.49. Right, let me raise this one. Pause the video class with regards to finding DB. Alright, so DB. Okay, DB is, we got DB. DB is equals to 6 square root of 2 or 8.49. So therefore, if db is equal to 6 square root of 2 or 8.49, ac is also equal to 6 square root of 2. So line ac is equal to 6 square root of 2 or okay, or, or 8.49. Why is that, sir? According to the properties of a square, the diagonals are congruent. The diagonals are equal. So this diagonal DB is equal to diagonal AC. So what is the measure of this one, sir? DE. Okay. So we just divide this one by two. So if DB is equals to 
so we divide it by 2. This is the value of DE. So let's divide it. Let's get DE. So line DE is, so divide, if we use the, the radical, so 6 squared of 2 divided by 2. So 6 divided by 2, this one. 6 divided by 2, the answer is 3 squared of 2. Alright? Now, if you use the decimal, so 8.49, 8.49 divided by 2. So, that would be 4 point, is equals to 4.20, uh, 4.245. Or 4.25, okay? 4.245. 3 squared of 2, that's the same with... 4.24245 okay 4.24 all right so so it depends on your teacher class if they allow you to use this radical but for me class in my class i will allow the students to use this radical but if not if your teacher will ask you to really use the decimal so you can have this one this is the same that's that's actually the same answer okay so therefore uh de Okay, DE, let's assume that they use the decimal. So, DE is 4.245 or 25, 4.25. And the EB, or point, let's, miss, let's just use this one, 4.245. But it's better class to have this radical so that we can get the exact answer. Same with this one. Okay, let's just use the radical. So, DE is 3 square root of 2. And EB is equals to 3 square root of 2. Therefore, AE is equals to, this line AE is equals to 3 square root of 2. And uh, EC, EC is equals to 3 square root of 2. So that's it class. That's how you find uh, the all sides and all angles of a square. So if you like this video, Please do not forget to subscribe. You share it to your friends class and to your classmates. And you have some question if you have some questions, go ahead. Okay, you go ahead. You leave a comment on our YouTube channel. We will be answering that one. You have a great day, class. I hope you learned something new today. And goodbye for now. Please do not forget to subscribe. You share it to your family, to your friends, and to your loved ones. Okay? Goodbye for now. Bye-bye.